Hey guys, it's Ruck. Today I bought every single helmet and face mask and I will show you what each one looks like on my character. This is a complete comprehensive guide on armor, armor class, movement speed, ergonomics, weight, durability, material, and protected areas. This is the last guide you will ever need on helmets. I'm also showing you how it looks on my character so you get an idea of where exactly the helmet and face mask cover. We are also reviewing each item by their stats. I have ranked them from best to worst and we will review them from worst to best. I've ranked them first by armor class, second by sound block level because if you can't hear then the stats on the helmet don't matter. Third by their armor score which is a calculation I made combining speed, weight, ergonomics, and durability. And then fourth by material, which, has, which I've also ranked from best to worst. Check my Discord for all my spreadsheets, including this one. Okay guys, let's dive in. There are four tier one helmets, and this is the worst one because it's the only one that blocks sound. The Kelsey Fire Helmet is next due to its very low durability. The motorcycle helmet and safety helmet are the best of tier 1 with almost identical stats. There are 6 tier 2 helmets. The aviator and riot helmets are the worst ones due to sound block. The retro military helmet is next due to low durability. The PAS standard is next due to its reduction to ergonomics and high weight. The security helmet is the second best tier 2 helmet because of its low weight and movement speed. The retro steel helmet is the best tier 2 helmet because of its combination of hardened steel material, durability, and speed. There are 6 tier 3 helmets and the SH-12 is the worst due to its poor ergonomics and weight. The F-70 is next because of its low durability and poor material. The 6B4 and 6B4 camo come in next with identical stats. The PAS-2 is the second best tier 3 helmet because of its combination of hardened steel material, durability, and speed. The 6B-5 is the best because it has the lowest weight and highest durability of all tier 3. There are 8 tier 4 helmets. The SH-40 and SH-18 are the worst ones due to sound block. The IND Tactical and F-80 have the same armor score but the F-80 has superior armor material. The IND-200 has five more durability, which is why it comes next. The 56K helicopter helmet is next due to high durability, but its speed, ergonomics, and bad headset are holding it back. The KSS and KSS-2 take the top two spots. I could argue either way with these, as the KSS has the best material but the KSS-2 has higher durability. There are seven tier five helmets and the SH Matska 2 comes in last due to severe sound block. The SH-60 is next due to poor ergonomics, material, and durability. The SH-50 and RSP Heavy have low sound block, which is holding them back from a higher position. The O3 Heavy Helmet has great speed, weight, and ergonomics, but low durability and poor material. The AN95 comes in second with excellent titanium material and nice durability, but has big speed and ergonomic reductions, holding it from the top spot. The FA Assault takes the top spot for Tier 5 with excellent speed, ergonomics, and low weight combined with good durability. There are 8 Tier 6 Helmets. The D0D9 and 6BNT have severe sound block and also weigh a lot with poor speed and ergonomics. The RST Special Forces helmet has great material but moderate sound block and poor speed and ergonomics. The HG84 also has moderate sound block but has high durability and low weight. The SH-65 has low sound block and poor speed and ergonomics combined with bad material. The IND-50 is number 3 
because it's the only tier 6 helmet that has great movement speed and ergonomics. The AS200 is number 2 due to zero ergonomic reduction and very low weight. The IND70 takes the top spot due to low weight, very high durability, and no sound block while also providing a tier 6 face mask. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you'd like to see more videos like this. Please be sure to join my Discord. We have a growing community. I put all my spreadsheets in there. Check the video description for more information. I really enjoy making content for you guys and hope that you found this helpful. If you found this valuable, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Have a good day.